that segue into our talk about the science of this movie. Okay. Yes. Pretty so, cool. again, we we do have a robot that gets struck a jet. Well, he doesn't get struck by lightning necessarily. The generator he's connected to does. Yeah, mm-hmm. and that jolts him and gives him. It fries his circuitry somehow, and that does. gives him sentience, or rather, self awareness. Right. Now it's not inst- instantaneous because as he's like kind of following along, uh, there was a point where he's going down. He's following the other. Uh, yeah, other. Guys. Yeah, and, his brothers. Uh, yeah. Right. <laughs> and of course, he like hits a wall. But there was a point where I was kind of questioning myself: is like, is he having the first instinctual kind of uh, reaction? To where he is, he getting a robotic boner, if you will, for that little for that dude. Other, yes, little, I right? wanted to bring oh, it up I so badly. Yeah, because so, because a lot of times I, I when I think about you know Johnny Five's development, you know, I think that because it's like he's he's an infant in a lot of ways because right. yeah. he's just you know input input oh, you know i need to understand they even, they even more make, they even make the the oh, what's her name she makes the joke he's only four days old yeah and when it comes to the scene where you know they're trying to go into the the disarmament bay and he bumps into the wall right. i wonder if that was kind of the the trigger almost that made him realize i'm malfunctioning because I didn't, you know, go and lock its step. Oh, wait, I'm not malfunctioning because I'm thinking about this. And then he jumps almost to adolescence or early adulthood when he's like, hmm, look at the backside of that coffee server, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I don't know. So it's <laughs> I mean, that's that's a fun, fun theory. I I, I did saw I uh, see that that uh that scene and that's the same thing i thought when they went because because he he's the fucking camera focuses in on the back side of the robot and then you see the little dangling wire well, it's, it's like the power cord yeah power cord, yeah and, and, it's, uh, and he, he's just and like he's mm, girl, girl. Yeah. <laughs> the way he's following it, it yeah like you get the fucking uh, it yeah like it implies that he's getting like a robo boner or whatever possibly don't know um because I think the reason the reasoning as far as like what he's doing in the beginning here is like he's confused as fuck. He doesn't know what the fuck is going on. It's like a sensory. Right. It's not a sensory overload as much as uh, uh, maybe a a, a, de- a de- well, actually, he's always bitching about he needs he needs more input, more information. So it's a, like his 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 senses are are like being not deprived, but they're like he's not able to interpret like what's going on around him. So. Uh, that's why I don't think he he you know evolves or grows or learns until he meets uh, what's her name ah uh, oh, fucking the, what's her name Stephanie Steph- Stephanie God I'm never gonna forget that now <laughs> so okay so what if it was just childlike curiosity sure. when he was watching that coffee robot and he was just like sure. what's going on over there you know yeah I see something enticing. What uh, I don't understand what's happening, but well, yeah, well, that's that's, that's where I brought up brought up the question because is it just curiosity or like you you would think as you, as you're like progressing, I mean, we would uh, we would say no because like we've got dirty minds and it's funnier that way, right? Uh, but right. as as <laughs> as the characters as Johnny Five's character like goes, he's a child, like he has no like that that i can tell like he has no sexual inclinations or he is but ideas. there's also a bit of a quest, questionable behavior later yes whenever he's with stephanie and they're kind of it yeah, almost, she's uh, in the shower and he's like yeah hey, he's like oh he's like, oh yeah, yeah they get to all this like will they won't they kind that's of stuff after, <laughs> that's, so that's after i was i was talking about that he starts to learn like he's he's watching a shitload of tv at that point right Oh, and, yeah, and then you watch zipping through all her library. Yeah, <laughs> watching any Cinemax Erotica in that. Yeah, maybe scenario. He's watching all kinds of shit. Uh, but then he didn't make the connection that you know, <clears throat> like Stephanie, you changed colors when she's yeah. in the bathtub. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
God, I love like, this movie. Whenever they're, they're oh. dancing together and they're playing the, the BG song more than a woman, and it's almost romantic. Yeah, a certain aspect of them dancing and stuff, and he dips her and shit like that. Mm-hmm. Um, I was like thinking to myself again, mind you, this could be just dirty mind. Uh, <laughs> here, like I'm like, are they about to fuck, man? Like. <laughs> <laughs> right. I mean, he has a lot of like weird drills and shit. Yeah, like I was gonna say he brings it out. And there's like a fucking dildo attachment, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> sounds like you want to see a different movie, Ray. <laughs> I mean, I'm not against it. I'm in pretty your, sure in your head. Oh no, Which, yeah. with that with right. with that device, uh, I I had to think of fucking R two D two with his like little various gadgets and stuff. But it really reminded me of maybe it was inspired by fucking a character from a Robert Highland book, uh, The Moon is a Harsh Mistress, where this guy Manny has uh, like a robo arm, but it has like all the tools for his uh, maintenance work that he does uh, on this uh, supercomputer. Anyway, I just nerded out there for a second because <laughs> Highland rules. Um, <laughs> anyway, moving on. So, uh, any more about the science of this movie? Because, um, do you think the generator was really did play a part in uh, sparking some of his sentience? My sentience. I don't know, man. There really isn't anything to say. It started out as a malfunction. What did uh, right. what did Ben call it later? Spontaneous uh, emotional um, response or something like that. Uh, like um, generation or response or like well it, uh it, it, again it wasn't instantaneous he had to get quote unquote input to kind of like right yeah to, yeah he needed you know, he needed time to uh process right to, and uh, and i think uh the childlike quality of johnny five came from a lot of the tv again he was technically if he was a child necessarily is it the circuits that are slowly evolving or is there like some kind of no i think it's it's surely or it's it's solely that he has the capacity to know all this stuff it's just he doesn't have it Mm -hmm. in the early you know hours of his escape right and once he gets it all you know then he has it all available to him so then he can call upon it you know instantaneously I think he so i think this is just you know he didn't get enough punch cards <clears throat> early on you know because he, because he was trained because also he was programmed to what what is the to respond to commands or whatever the line that gutenberg and ben always like, like say at the same oh, time just runs programs yeah he just <laughs> runs programs yeah Roland, uh, you had mentioned something uh, regarding some kind of parallels. So I was trying. It's just something that popped into my head, and I wanted to ask you because I am not a fan of ET. Mm-hmm. I I can't. I I know you've you said that it. many many times. Yeah, I don't even try for that. I, but you are. I am a fan I, of ET. I, I, uh, it's a beautiful movie. <laughs> yeah, that's not for me. Um, I don't. I, I still get very I emotional just, during that. Uh, E.T. is like all dehydrated bullshit when he's like all dry. I can and he's, like, he's like reaching out like Elliot. <laughs> I'm sitting there just fucking going God damn man. Yeah. <laughs> um, I can objectively say that it's a good movie uh, for what Spielberg did for what it represents for the now the- Roland subjectively I- I, I don't know if you're bringing this up because read earlier today that there was a portion where the original one of the original ideas for this for Johnny Five getting sentience was that he was zapped by aliens. Oh, that was well, actually, I mean, that was actual like a draft. No, I, I I don't I avoided looking up any trivia uh, about this movie. I just didn't want to go through any of that shit. Uh, this time um so no i like like i said like it just sort of popped into my head that because we're we're discussing his his character you know the way he is like the way he learns the way he perceives his surroundings and the way that he interacts with uh ben and stephanie and like just anyone in general and it just reminded me for some reason it made me think of et 
where he just he comes in and huh. he doesn't know shit about shit right. and he needs to be taught and like he slowly ex- you know has these experiences that give him perspective uh and like he's hunted right he's chased by the fucking government or whatever and like for the most part it's just supposed meant to be like a wholesome good movie he's not there to fucking like hurt anyone and again i'm still talking about et here yeah he just got yeah. kind of lost yeah. you know and and he's like a child as well yeah. I, don't, I don't know maybe it, no i mean and similar head or similar dome shapes and all that stuff you know <laughs> no i mean i i I, I, I mean i'm it's not a one-to-one but i'm i'm heavily inclined to agree with that dude okay so yeah. there's something I wanted to bring up. A thought popped in my head earlier this week, and I had to bring it up to Bryce, uh, also a uh, every so often contributor of CineQuest or Final Viewing, that I think, just a little bit, I don't know, you guys can like squash this completely. Getting ready. Is that Getting Nova ready. Robotics is a, I would say a portion, or it's kind of expansion of uh, Skynet. Skynet. I fucking knew you were going to say that, dude. God damn it. Now, look at the, the beginning of this movie. All the fucking, I mean, all the robotics are put together. Yeah. Like yeah. The arm, you know, they have like the arm of like Johnny Five kind of has a That's a good point. I like that. Because, and, and I will say this, I had okay. to make sure I looked this up before I even said this, is that Terminator came out in 1984. This movie's 1986. So there's a few years between. Now, mind you, they only have the arm. Yep. Is Steve Gutenberg or Newton Crosby one of the, I guess the the pioneer uh, inventors of this these robotics? I know. That kind yeah. Of and so what if Miles the- Dyson? Yeah. Okay. No. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> no. 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 I, I'm. That's a cool idea. I. Because uh, it's amusing to see like that. I can't uh, shit on that. I really can't. Uh, <laughs> Killing everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, they have like. Now, just real quick, I want to say like cyborgs. Don't they have like fucking arms? Don't they have like guns on the side? And do they do they have that in Terminator? Oh, uh, no, that's... You, no, you, no, 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 they, they carry the external they weapons. They do, right? Yeah, yeah they, they carry guns around. You, right. As far but as... Mind you, they're both initially supposed to be killing machines, right? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah and, and also, you know, this kind of... Uh, I'm liking this hypothesis more, more and more um, because you have... Because, like, Dyson was trying to just develop robotics. Right. Yeah. Gutenberg the- was trying to develop robotics initially with the prep, with the idea that, because I mean, he's sitting there, you know, having one of the robotic arms learning how to fucking play a keyboard. Right. Yeah. And what was Skynet supposed to initially do? Just, you know, kind of centralize everything, make things easier for humans. And right. then, then Skynet turned. Right. But maybe Skynet turned because there was precedent in its overall like programming like memory practice. where in 1986 you've got the Saint project which had militaristic applications. So then maybe then the Skynet program goes, "Oh yeah, remember back when this happened? Mm-hmm. We can make that better." Right. <laughs> and on top of that, if they are, this might be jumping ahead to predictions of this movie, but the fact that they know, or there's a word going around that there was a robot that obtained sentience, you know, uh, did they try to like stop that at any cost? But eventually it was like kind of an inevitable thing to where the AI was going to become self aware at some point. Because well, I don't know. I'm not sure how that's supposed to work. Like you're 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 getting into some fun like sci-fi uh, theories or whatever concerning how well like how AI becomes self-aware, right? Because right. the way because in Terminator we AI don't know works. we don't know how that happens. It just happens. Yeah. Least, uh, well, actually, I, I, no. Me remembering, I don't know how no. it does self-aware. 
no, well, oh, the self awareness. I'm not sure if on the real that Skynet robotics ever are self aware or if they're just following programs because it's just computers talking to one another and they come up with the logical conclusion that the only way to kind of like solve all this bullshit is just to eliminate humanity. The T1000's own words is that it became self aware. Yeah. He said that. <laughs> so <laughs> Again, I, I don't know if the, how I, that uh, happened or. I imagine that. Well, I mean, T800, right? The Arnold version. T800, excuse me. Yes. They, yeah. <laughs> nerd alert, nerd alert. <laughs> yes, flash that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, pardon me. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Just saying T1000 sounds cool. T, the T800. Well, like, yeah, that's Agent Doggett we're talking about, man. Yeah, <laughs> that's Lieutenant Dan. We're talking about. Oh wait, no. Well, yeah, we are. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that was just something I was trying to like hmm. that came to mind because I don't know enough about AI and machine learning to be able to say yeah, like me. Like, I mean, the like, little I understand about it is that, like fucking Ben says, they're programs. They do what they're yeah. told, and that's pretty much how AI works. Like it has. And- directives and, it, it works within those parameters it doesn't when crosby is like <clears throat> when crosby is with uh stephanie and uh number five up in that desert mind you is that the same mountain from star trek that whole yeah, it yeah. probably it fucking looked, is right? man like, because I, from afar i saw yeah. that set and i was like where the yeah. fuck have i seen this well because movie? so many fucking movies have been you know, and like, tv shows have been shot there Call back to Cinequest video. Dylan says, yeah. check it out. Um, he's he opens his circuits or a circuit board and he's like telling him, like, he did it himself. There's right. certain like things that he's switched, yeah, he changed. And there's, he was like mentioning that there's certain uh wires that he connected that shouldn't have allowed him to be functioning still, but yet, right, he was, yeah. Um, so was that part of the lightning's role? I don't know, could be, uh, I don't know. Because we're not, because it could have could have shorted certain circuits we, and have, then activated we, others that right. I mean, some there's okay. Whatever you think can explain that will probably be likely. Uh, if it's something related to that, I'd have to. Well, yeah, this is a fucking movie. We can do whatever shut, we want with it. You know, they shut him <laughs> off at one point, and he is still able to fucking like wake himself back up. Right. Yeah, but function on a very very rudimentary level. Yeah, but that's like you know. What I think happened there is that they kind of essentially, you know, mostly paralyzed him, you know, like it's kind of like just take like a human and an analogy there, sure. you know, you stroke out or whatever. You still have use of like one side or whatever. <laughs> but Johnny Five has the yeah. ability just to reactivate the stuff that has been artificially uh, deactivated, if that well, makes I mean- any fucking sense. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's sort of what I was trying to suggest. And I think that the sentience is what allowed him to do that at all. So he has some, a little bit of the ghost in the machine somewhere. I think so. Yeah. Because that, that gets, uh, maybe it allows because like, more credence to that idea you know, is when, you know, sure. when, like when, when his Newton figures out that Johnny can yeah. experience, you know, humor and emotion and stuff. Yeah, yeah bad humor. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, no, that joke was bad. I still remember you know? listening yeah. to that joke and I'm like, I'm not I wrote joke, back but- like five times on that scene last night because oh, I was God. like, I had to think about it. Like, how is this funny? Yeah, I was like, you, yeah. Crosby does say that, like, the joke wasn't even that funny. Yeah, he fucking yeah, he's fine. <laughs> <laughs> you know what he sounds like? He sounds like when the predator laughs. Oh, you know, shit. Like, they turn the little kid. The, oh, oh, man, you're, you're invoking predator now? Oh, shit. Dude, dude, a whole new fucking theory. Predator. I mean, hey, dude, the, the shoulder mounted cannon. Yeah, that's true. That's what I was thinking. That's from oh, okay, oh. so I was gonna say. So, is like, yeah, Short Circuit a good marriage between the Terminator franchise and the Predator Alien franchise? If, like, if- no, so, so here it is, right? So, <laughs> Terminator is a prequel, like to Short Circuit, kind of like. Uh, then we have Predator that shows like uh, maybe the Predators are just like That's human beings, have, like morphed into some kind of like weird. Uh, maybe they fuck some kind of like weird like 
cat or something like that, <laughs> or some kind of fish, and okay. then it turns into like alien. I'm just I'm just throwing shit out there now. Sure, like, sure. I don't know. Yeah, some of it might fun. stick, but we'll see. You know, <laughs> <laughs> right? Uh, I was I was thinking if if Terminator and Predator try to make a Disney movie or something, you short circuit something like this. Yeah. But uh, um, so uh, my daughter today, uh, I knew she had seen Short Circuit in the past with with her mom, and oh, cool. And uh, apparently uh, she was in fifth grade at the time when she did it. But she said, I didn't like it. There was so much bad language in it. And I was like, in short circuit? Like, (laughs) were we watching the same movies? Yeah. I was like, what profanity, you know, apart from some visual keys and there's really like. Holy shit! I think at one point. Or no, no, well, yeah, but at some point when he shows him like the ink block thing, yeah, and he's, he's like, he it's a maple he's leaf. like, shit, where is shit? You know, like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but, yeah, that was awesome. But, but I mean, but I was like, but I was like, really, this is a very, it's very, you know, it's you know, a fucking family movie. movie. Like, like you know. I like the numbers definitely define. Def- I, I would say I, Ben is probably the the person who talks the dirtiest in this movie. But oh like, hell yeah. Un, um, unaware when he's, oh. like, he's like, oh, her pants are like raging for you or some shit like that. Right. Her, <laughs> no, her, 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 yeah. What does he fucking say uh, when is it? Is, is when he talks about having a boner. And, yeah. Like he's, he's like, like I, I have so... a really, I have a massive Woody right now. Tell me about this. <laughs> tell me about the, 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 the date or whatever. Yeah. Like wasn't a date. He just, we touched hands and uh, you know, it's funny. Uh, it's funny. I wish Brian was here to, to, to say this because yeah. Newton Crosby's version of the date, like when they barely like he says like we kind of touched hands, that sounds like something Brian would say. Dude. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, Newton Crosby. Dude. I keep I can't Brian, ask- if you're watching this or listening, I mean like you sorry, man. Like you, it's something you know like, what? I'll, I'll go I'll go as far as to say this. <laughs> Brian, if you're if you check this out, we invite you to pop the you know remote in at some point. And defend your position on this. Mm. <laughs> you know, you know what? I, I, I don't think he would defend himself at all. Like, I think he no. would be fine being Newton Crosby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he would. That, that's absolutely. Well, uh, I mean, I'm just brilliant gonna brilliant scientist in robotics. Yeah. You know, yeah. You know this is our Spartacus moment. You know, I am Newton Crosby, you know. <laughs> I am Newton Crosby. <laughs> I have so many things to say about this, and I absolutely am not going to refrain. Gonna refrain, that. sir. Refrain. Absolutely. <laughs> God damn it! I, I've got one, one right, just ready loaded, Ray, and you will laugh your ass off. But I'll wait till we're done recording. Does anyone have anything to bring up regarding the science of this movie? I think it's fucking cool, man. Who doesn't like robotics, right? Like, yeah. Do you, um, do you think I do you think this movie inspired a bunch of kids to like go into some, the robotics? Uh, probably. Field? I can't see why. Dude, I, 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 I wish it would have done that for me, but you know, me being too dumb, like I, you know, I'm glad it didn't for me because I'd have hit a point where, when I couldn't understand fucking, you know, later algebra, <laughs> I would have been fu- I would have probably killed myself. <laughs> I'll never to- be a robotics engineer. Blah, just hang myself or something. Actually, I'd want something quick, so I'd probably just, you know. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Hey, oh, can I see that gun? Cool, <laughs> buddy. <laughs> cool, cool, buddy. Anyway, I could I could math pretty well up until my junior year in high school, and then it all went to shit. I I would say probably my sophomore year in college, and after that. I didn't care at all. Like, as a matter yeah. of fact, I didn't care before that. I was just lucky to be able to get through all that other math shit. <laughs> at that point, I mean, I wanted at to. At some be point, in- I realized, oh, I have to study and shit. Like, fuck that. <laughs> yeah, I practice. What the fuck? I just can't. You know, just kind of just keep it all up here and just go regurgitate on a page. Fuck this. Like, fuck that, man. Like, get out of here. <laughs> 